Welcome to this Ikogawa e learning module. This module covers the basics of ADMEC AXW large magnetic flow meters. When you complete this module, you should understand the history of large magnetic flow meters, the positioning of the AXW in the ADMEC family, the main specifications of ADMEC, the robustness of the design, the user friendly functions, and some application examples of the AXW. Let's move on to the first topic, the history of the AXW. These pictures are from our old photo album. Yukogawa has decades of history and experience with magnetic flow meters up to sizes of 2600 mm. The release of the ADMEC series with dual frequency excitation in 1988 is the first milestone in the modern history of Yukogawa magnetic flow meters. Later, the ADMEC series kept evolving with enhanced features and functions, and developed into a separate family. In 2012, the ADMEC AXW series of magnetic flow meters was released with outstanding reliability and ease of operation. This was enabled by Yukogawa's decades of experience in magnetic flow meters. The next topic is the positioning of the ADMEC family. The magnetic flow meter is the most widely used type of flow meter in various industries and applications. With a lineup of four products, the ADMAG series has the best model to realize reliable, long-term stable flow measurement for any application. The ADMAG AXW series of magnetic flow meters was developed based on Yukogawa's decades of experience in magnetic flow meters. The AXW series are ideal for industrial process lines and water supply or sewage applications with outstanding reliability and ease of operation. Developed on decades of field-proven experience, the AXW will increase user benefits while reducing total cost of ownership. The ADMEC AXW series has a wide range of sizes from 500 to 1800 mm. Now let's move on to the AXW main specifications. The ADMEC AXW ranges in size from 500 mm to 1800 mm. The AXW has a wide variety of liner materials that can be applied to various kinds of industrial process lines and water supply or sewage applications. The flow tube design has been simplified while retaining the same reliability and strength of the entire ADMEC series. As a result, the AXW will increase user benefits while reducing total cost of ownership. In the water applications, it is important that the mode of connection to the process meet regional standards. The AXW has a wide variety of flange connections that comply with standards in various regions such as EN 1092-1, Europe, ASM EB 16.5, AWWA, US, AS 2129 Table D, Australia, and JIS B2220, Japan. The AXW comes with four different liner materials. Each liner has its own chemical and physical characteristics. The first such material is fluorocarbon PTFE, which is an anti-corrosive material. It is suitable for the chemical industry, with a temperature range from minus 10 to 120 degrees Celsius. The second material is natural hard rubber or ebonite, which is an anti-corrosive material. It is suitable for oily wastewater with a temperature range from minus 5 to 80 degrees Celsius. The third is natural soft rubber, which is an anti-abrasive material. It is typically used for the mining industry with a temperature range from minus 10 to 70 degrees Celsius. Lastly we have polyurethane rubber, which is an anti-abrasive material. It is suitable for general use such as water applications with a temperature range from minus 10 to 40 degrees Celsius. The liner material should be selected by the user based on chemical characteristics, use objectives, and the temperature range. The next topic is ADMEC's robust design. The AXW has a robust design with a reinforced structure that carries on the tradition of high quality and reliability of the ADMEC series. Despite its strength, it features a simplified design with shorter lay length, a single pair of electrodes, and simpler tube structure. This design optimization realizes lighter weight, making installation and maintenance easier. The AXW will increase user benefits in large flow pipe measurement tasks. 
The robust structure of the electrode ceiling is another key technology based on our long experience. The AXW has a different electrode structure for each liner material to ensure reliable sealing. For the polyurethane rubber liner, the electrodes are an external type, whereas PTFE and hard rubber liners have internal type electrodes. Also, the ceiling point is different for different liners to ensure measurement reliability. The AXW has a new design standard, no grounding rings. This applies only to metal piping. In most cases, up and down stream piping already contacts ground. In such cases, no grounding ring is necessary. No grounding ring installation reduces ceiling points and causes of leakage. How does the AXW achieve no grounding ring installation? This figure explains the grounding method of the AXW. After connecting the AXW flange to the metal process flange of the piping, you can connect the grounding wire to the grounding terminal in the terminal box. As a result, the connected piping acts as a grounding ring, getting the reference electrical based level and cutting the stray current from the direction of the arrows. The AXW and pipe flange are electrically grounded with a metal wire supplied by customer. Please check the electrical connection with the tester to ensure correct wiring. Stray current may come from both sides. In that case both flanges and terminal box should be grounded together as shown in the figure. This method connects the AXW and pipe flange electrically, and the stray current is grounded even before it reaches the magnetic flow meter. Please check the electrical connection with the tester. If a user requires grounding rings, Yokogawa is able to provide two types of grounding rings as an option. One is slash GR1 which is the standard grounding ring applicable for sizes 500 to 1800 mm, except for the GIS F12 flange connection in sizes 1100 to 1800 mm. The other is slash GR2 which is a dedicated robust grounding ring applicable only for the GIS F12 flange connection in sizes 1100 to 1800 mm. If the user requires a grounding ring, a set of two grounding rings can be provided with the optional code slash GR1 made of SUS304. The grounding ring should be centered on the piping with two small pins on the handles. The position of the pins depends on the flange rating. A wire is connected from the grounding ring to the screw of the flow tube's flange and fixed with a nut. The same procedure must be done on the both side of the flow tube. This is the structure of slash GR1. For sizes 1100 to 1800 mm, the grounding rings are to be fixed to the flow tube with screws. The gasket should be supplied by customer. This is the structure of slash GR2. This structure is the same as the AXF, and the grounding rings are fixed to the flow tube with screws when shipped from the factory. The semicircle shaped O ring is integrated on the inner side. As with other ATMAG products, the AXW has a rotatable terminal box. Easy rotation of the terminal box from minus 140 to plus 180 degrees improves accessibility to cables during connection work, wiring, and maintenance. Now let's look at user friendliness. The AXW is installed with the AXF A11 converter, which provides various kinds of user friendly functions. The AXF A11 has a high performance infrared switch. Accurate sensing design with software and hardware protection avoids misoperation or unauthorized access to parameter settings. Also, the switches can be operated with or without various kinds of gloves, which improves operability in the plant. The visibility of the LCD is important determines its usability. The full dot matrix LCD facilitates various displays such as 1 to 3 line displays and multilingual displays. The LCD can display flow rate and quantity at the same time. In addition, the percentage can be displayed as a bar graph. When an alarm is detected, the AXF A11 converter informs the user. The LCD alternates every 2 seconds between the process indication and the alarm information with corrective action. A user knows immediately how to solve the problem, without having to refer to a manual. The AXW provides online adhesion diagnostic functions to check the maintenance timing without removing a device from piping. 
the converter is continuously sending a small current to the electrodes and monitoring the impedance between the electrodes and the common ground that will be changed by the insulated coating over the electrodes. The adhesion is measured by the resistance and indicated as a level 1 to 4 in the bar graph in the LCD. Users can specify the impedance of each level. When the impedance reaches the third level, a warning is displayed. When the impedance reaches the fourth level, an alarm occurs. Finally, let's discuss applications. This is an application example of the AXW in the pulp and paper industry. The AXW works well for white water measurement of a paper plant. This medium contains a very low percentage of pulp fiber and chemicals that affect the liner surface. For the AXW large magnetic flow meter, you can choose a PTFE liner of up to 1000 mm. This is an anti-corrosive material and is well suited for this application. Flow meter selection in a pulp and paper plant is very difficult since the proportion of pulp slurry percentage, pulp type, chemical composition type, and chemical composition percentage are different for each company. Yukogawa takes these conditions into consideration because they affect measurement stability and liner materials. An AXW application following the safety conditions of pulp slurry is around 3% or below, and a velocity of 2 meters per second or below. Beyond these conditions, please contact Yukogawa local offices or world headquarters. The coverage of the AXW applications is wide. You can apply to various industries such as cooling water, desalination plants, seawater, mineral slurry or mining, wastewater, and white water in the pulp and paper industry. This concludes our module on the basics of ADMEC AXW large magnetic flow meters. For more information or to contact us, please visit our website and official channel on YouTube. Thank you.